Hello, it's Mikey here. Um, I um, had a bit of energy today, and in my current state, I kind of have to utilise that when I've got it. So I got up and I came straight through to my wee room, and I thought, I'm painting the day. It's happening. I need to paint more often. Well, no, I want to paint. But scratch that whole neat thing. It's about what you want to do. I wanted to paint. So it's actually a relative's 50th birthday and I happen to learn that she really likes penguins. So I thought, right, cool. I'm going to paint her a picture. Something to do with penguins. Um, I had loads of ideas and then I went on YouTube and I started looking at different people's painting methods to try and mix things up a bit. So I'm not doing the same thing all the time. Maybe trying something else. That's what it's all about. I'm currently doing this uh, design module with the OU and they're really focused on trying things and seeing what works, you know, see what sticks, see what you enjoy. And I'm trying to kind of flow with that idea a bit, a bit more. So I thought I'll get a shot. So I came through and I gave it a shot. And um, before we get into it, um, if you want to uh, subscribe, that would be good. Uh, you didn't have to, but if you want to, you can. I'm be making more stuff. I've been putting up shorts as well. Uh, things like my soap venture and my lego builds and bits and bobs like that but it doesn't big you don't have to um it's, it's just if you want and if that's what you do and you like to subscribe to channels i do i always do but uh you, you can but any biggie anyway enjoy uh, my painting spiel and uh i'll check in again after Okay, so before we get started, I'd just like to say a quick thanks to a few of you who have given me materials or sent me stuff. I really appreciate it. Thanks firstly to my in-laws, Joyce and Chris, uh, for always giving me things. Thanks to my own mum and dad for doing the same. See these things, what are they for? I've never been able to figure it out, so I just generally toss them aside. Um, thanks to my own mum and dad, thanks to my lovely buddy Bob, and also to Tim for sending me stuff. Thanks, I really appreciate it. So I'd been watching a few videos online and seen a few people do this and it's like a blobby blob colour technique. There's a guy called Siraj Fine Arts um, and he does this a lot and I, I kind of liked it. So I thought I'd get a shot with just random colours. I didn't really put too much thought into it. Um, but I got a kind of nice blend actually. I kind of, I was quite happy with it, but it wasn't the colours I was looking for. I kind of wanted to go for like a northern lightsy feel. Um, but in the south, I think it's called the Astro Aurora Australis in the south. But it looks similar, looks the same, and I wanted that kind of look. But I kind of kept getting this kind of savannah -y look or something. I don't know what was going on. It wasn't. It didn't scream cold, and it didn't scream, you know, Aurora uh, Borealis Australis, whatever to me. So I tried a few different things. I don't know why I was trying yellow. It, it wasn't going to work. It didn't. It wasn't what I was after. The green, I tried to then put the green in to try and get the kind of green aurora effect that you get, you know that, the green lines you get in the sky. But then I thought, no, let's just try and get the colour right. So I slapped on quite a lot of purple and dark blue and I started to get what I was after. I'd also seen people do this thing with sponges to try and blend the colours, so I tried it, but I wasn't really happy with the result. It was quite cool and maybe I just wasn't giving it enough of a shot or giving it enough time but I just wasn't happy with it. So I thought, sod it, let's lighten the whole thing up and slap on some white. So I started doing that. And as you'll see, as with my other videos, I always end up doing something and then just end up deviating and going mad. But that's what art's all about, isn't it? So I tried the thing again with the sponge and I tried blending the colors, but again, it just wasn't quite working the way I wanted. Then I ended up just actually painting with the sponge, which was quite good. And I kind of liked the way it looked actually. But in the end, I had this paler kind of colour, which was kind of what I was after, but I needed to darken the top again. So I put some of that dark blue in, and I was starting to get the sky I wanted. Now you can see there's wee wisps of kind of blue sky, and then there's like lighter kind of white through it and wee bits. And it was starting to look like the sky I was really wanting. Then I started to add in the green kind of aurora lines. And I wanted to do big kind of blocks of it and then blend it in. And then maybe try and put on wee highlights at the end. So I got the green and I started to blend it into the background to create that kind of wavy, aurora -y green kind of effect. 
I started to try and add thinner lines as well, because you know how you see the kind of bold green lines when you look at the auroras? I was quite happy with the direction it was going. I was starting to get that definite def definition. Like when you look at it, you know that's what it is. At least that's what I thought anyway. Then I started to add on some white highlights to really make it pop. And then blended those in a wee bit. I wasn't quite sure, so I knew I was going to do a silhouette, but I wasn't quite sure how far up it was going to go. So I wanted the bottom to look okay, but I also wanted to almost make it look like the sun was rising a wee bit, having the kind of yellowy sun bit at the bottom. Then I started to flick it on to make it look like stars or even snow. Um, I made a few wee mistakes and started to blend it in, but it started to add to the overall effect. It kind of looked like wispy cloud or something. But I managed to get the wee dots of white I was after and blended a few wee more bits in. Then at the end of that, this is what I had. I was quite happy. You could see the green bits. I guess looking at this, you would know what it's supposed to be, I think. And in any case, the silhouette was about to help that. So now I wanted to start doing my silhouette. Now, there's a person on YouTube who does these kind of painting tutorials and her name's Ashley Krieger. I think it's called Create Fun Art from Ashley Krieger, the channel. And she had this amazing idea using watercolour pencils to sketch on your silhouette if you're doing a picture like this. She had a really great picture she did of a nativity scene that was really cool. And basically what this means is you can literally just rub it off. If you just wet your finger a wee bit and rub it off I could rub off any mistakes I'd made and in a second penguin I was having some issues but it was great because you just wipe it off and there's nothing left there was no marks left then I started using my Posca pens to fill it in just a wee bit more so this is these are the acrylic paint pens I thought I would colour in the penguins with them but then I decided to use paint but it really helped to outline it so I could really see it then I started to fill in the black with just some black acrylic paint I've uh, mentioned a couple of YouTube channels here for uh, painting and I'll link them into the video description so you can check them out yourself if you want. I certainly found them really useful. I quite like watching when I do things like this on time lapse. It's quite chilled out and uh, satisfying to watch. Watching it all come together. Two wee happy penguins in the South Pole. Watching the sky. They could be wee pals. Just on a wee journey, or maybe they're, maybe they're a couple, I don't care. But anyway, they're, they're admiring the sky. Penguins are allowed to enjoy it too, right? <laughs> and then I just filled in the rest of the black and I had a bit, I did my kind of line blob technique that I've mentioned to you before. And it was just to kind of create lumps to make it look like snow or something. And just find, filled in the wee details on the penguins a wee bit more, refined it a wee bit. And here we are, that's it done. Just two wee mad penguins cutting about the South Pole, enjoying their surroundings. I was quite happy with how it turned out, and it was nice to work on a smaller piece. They don't all have to be big, huge paintings, and I think I'm starting to realise that now. So, I think that went all right. I was pleased with how it went. It went way better than I thought it was gonna go anyway. But that's always the thing, isn't it? And I do this a lot, and you probably noticed. I always think it's going to go horribly. That's not necessarily true. That's not how things work. Give it a shot, see how it goes. And, you know, maybe it'll, maybe it'll not come out the way you planned, but you might be pleasantly surprised. And normally, you end up thinking, oh, I actually did that, that's pretty sweet. I'm quite happy with that. So, you know, it's all about gain at a bash. And I think with this module I'm doing as part of my degree thing, it's really trying to help me realise that you've just got to throw ideas out there and see what happens, can Then it'd be shy, just like, try it. And it can really pay off. Anyway, enough of that philosophical push. Uh, I'm probably going to make another video soon enough, I'm not sure. Around uni work and all the rest of it. And 
I'll see what happens. But I'm thinking doing something, I've got lots of ideas and stuff I'd like to do. But it's like, you know, darker and conceptual or whatever. It sounds so wank, but stuff that like, I used to paint and I really want to try it. I've got ideas, I'm just going to throw them out there. And that's what this is all about. Trying to just throw ideas out there and see what sticks. Um, aye, so happy birthday today, by the way. I hope you have a great day and I hope you like your painting. Um, aye, leave a comment if you like. I uh, mentioned subscribe and do that too if you like. But aye, leave a comment. Tell me I look sweaty and smelly. Because I do. <laughs> but uh, aye, thanks for joining me, guys. Um, hopefully see you for the next one. I'm not sure what it'll be and when it'll be. But anyway, thanks for watching. Cheerio, bye!